and today I'm going to make a special dish for you with my own twist. Very simple. We're going to be using some spaghetti, tin of tomato, onion, potato, salt, a few spices, ginger and garlic. You can use fresh or um, the powdered stuff. Doesn't make any difference. How simple is that? I'm sure a lot of people will have these ingredients in the house. So let's see what we can do with this. Okay, let's start. I'm going to be using a blender, but you can use a hand blender if you haven't got one of these. So that tin of tomato is going in. Okay. Then I'm going to be putting in one small onion, a little bit of fresh garlic and uh, garlic and ginger. And as I said, you can substitute that for the powdered stuff. In. Then I'm going to be adding three green chilies. You can add more or less depending on you know, how you like your spice. So I'm going to blend this until it's smooth. Putting some oil into the pan. About four tablespoons. Putting in the cumin seeds. Seeds. So it's half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. If you haven't any mustard seeds, don't worry about it. Okay? So I'm going to leave, I've chopped up these potatoes quite small, little cubes, not too thick, not too small. I'm going to be putting them into the oil. I'm putting in some turmeric to give it some colour. But you know, it's up to you, your taste. Fry these potatoes, mix it well, saute them. Putting in that blended onion, tomato, and chili, ginger, and garlic, putting that in. Give that a good stir. I'm going to add some more water, uh, about two glasses. So I'm just going to use my blender, I'm just going to wash it out with some of that water. And I'm going to add that to the potatoes. Now you're going to bring this to the boil and leave it on medium heat to slightly thicken and let the onions and the spices all fuse together. The spaghetti is boiling away right here and the sauce for the potatoes. Okay, so I'm going to add the pasta into the sauce. whether you want it thicker or you may want it saucier. And I'm going to leave this for a few minutes and then I'm going to add fish, coriander and plate tops and the end result. Well done. This is very comforting food, especially in these times. This is tomato spaghetti with potatoes, a lockdown recipe with an Indian twist. <laughs>